Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's Anelli here. Hey, what's going on everybody? How we doing? Man, Antonelli here. Today, talking unwritten rules in baseball. I made a video a couple months ago. It's got a lot of views, like over 300,000 views, I think. Got a lot of comments. Got a lot of people really pissed at me that want to like uh, injure me, even though I didn't come up with these rules at all. I'm just telling you what I saw while playing professional baseball. But anyways, what we're going to do today, we're going a little bit more in depth with some of these rules. I've also come up with a couple of more that I missed last time. And so let's go over today's and let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of this rule. So today's unwritten rule is about payback. How do you get payback? And it always comes down to a pitcher hitting somebody, okay? And as a pitcher, you should kind of know, you shouldn't be told. It's an unwritten rule that when something happens during the game where either somebody's trying to injure your player, uh, player on your team, or maybe somebody's really showing, you know, showing your team up, the usual response, or the, the response all the time, is to hit somebody. So it's an unwritten rule that you should take that upon yourself to do it. You don't have to be told. Someone doesn't have to come to you and be like, hey, guy, drill the next dude, okay? Okay, cool. You should know, okay? So when should you do it? There's a bunch of different occurrences in a game. If one of your buddies gets taken out and it's malicious, it looks like he did it on purpose, right? Guys turn a double play and boom, the dude gets crushed. And maybe he's out of the baseline. He's breaking the rules. There's a lot, obviously there's more rules now to protect infielders. Back in the day, there really weren't. But now there are. Let's say that, that you feel they go out of their way to really try to take somebody out. And it looks like the intent is to injure somebody. Well, then you take it upon yourself to hit the next dude or hit, some, hit that dude or hit somebody, okay? Uh, let's say somebody breaks one of these other unwritten rules that there are in baseball. And, and again, in the top 10 in my other video, usually if somebody breaks one of those rules, the payback is to hit somebody, the pitcher to drill the hitter, okay? And it's going to be drill the guy. Don't drill the guy in the head. Drill the guy someplace right here around the midsection or right in the butt or something or in the upper, upper leg, okay? Um, but that is an unwritten rule that you should that's how you get payback, and no one has to tell you. You should just do it. Now, a lot, a lot of people will say that this is ridiculous. You have a baseball, and you could really injure somebody, which you absolutely could injure somebody, and that's why they say to target kind of this area right here. But there's not really – football or baseball is one of those sports where there's not really any other ways to get payback. Like in football, you can – you know, you can really just destroy somebody. You can double team somebody and just drive the dude into the dirt. You can do a bunch of things. In basketball, you can hard foul or do something like that. In, in almost every sport, there's a way to get a guy back. In baseball, there's not really a ton of opportunities. So that kind of always falls on the pitcher to be kind of the enforcer for the team. Okay? Um, so let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section below. I think most people will probably agree with this, except for the few that say it's too dangerous. But in our other video, I think most of the people would say that that makes about sense. The pitcher's job is to kind of be the enforcer, and it's, you know, it is an unwritten rule. No one really will say this to the pitcher. They just kind of understand it. So subscribe to the channel if you're not done so already. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, share the video with all your friends. Uh, give the video a thumbs up, all that good stuff. Check out the description box below. We got a deal going on Plate Crate. We got a link to our Patreon page. We got a bunch of other stuff, so check all that out. And that's all we got, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it, and we'll talk to you later.